In this tutorial, we're going to discuss Web 2.0 and how you can use it in your classroom. Um, Web 2.0 is not a new piece of software or a new technology. It's just a new way of using the web that focuses around connecting, collaborating, creating, and sharing your information. Um, the specific tool we're going to look at is a course wiki, and it's the ultimate collaboration tool. It's very similar to a journal or blog. The students can add, remove, edit, and change content, but they do it in a common location. Um, wikis can be used in your classroom for just about any collaborative project you already have, and you can use it as an instructor as an online resource to potentially uh, list links or syllabus files or anything that you might want to get to your students. Um, so if you'll go ahead and get started in your web browser, type www.wikispaces.com. And that's going to bring you to this page that you see right here. Now to get started, over here on this box here, it has three things you need to type in, your username, password, and email. So start out by typing in a um, username for yourself, and then your password that you want to use, and then your email address. And then you're going to click the Getting Started button that you see here. Now at this point, you're going to come to your new account page. And one of the things that's kind of important here is that it's going to send you a confirmation email address that you're going to have to click on a link to be able to move any further after you fill out this page. So go ahead and check your email, and then when you're done, come back here and finish this page. And CC. And I'm going to choose that it's public. And then under wiki type, I'm going to hit the down arrow, and I'm going to choose higher education, and then click my create button. At this point, you're going to be logged in, and then the first thing that you're going to notice here is a getting started with your wiki. Um, this is a great page for you to spend some time looking at. Um, it gives you, each of these are a tutorial on how to navigate and manage your wiki. Um, so this is a way that you can go back and kind of get a refresher um, on how to actually navigate the system. But for our um, demonstration here, we're going to close this out, and then I'm going to kind of give you an um, overview of how the wiki works. You'll notice that over here at the top, we have our home tab, and that is the current name of the page that we're working with. Um, then we have our page navigation, and this allows us to do some different um, things to our page later on. We have the ability to have a discussion board within our wiki. We can view the history. And then we have a notify me section that is going to give you, you can actually get email notifications when your students have made changes to your page. But what we're going to do is we're going to start off with our home page. Now over here on the left, you'll notice that at the bottom we have a navigation section. And there is a home link. So we're going to click on that, and that's going to take us back to our home page. Now, to edit your page, what you're going to do is over here, you're going to click your Edit button, and you're going to notice that you now have a toolbar very similar to a word processor that you may have um, seen before. And it, we can bold, italic, and underline our text. We can change its color. We can change it to a heading. We can do numbers, bullets. We can put in a horizontal line. We can create a link to another website. We can link to a file or we can use something called a widget, or we can insert a table. Now, what I'm going to do, this works pretty much just like a word processor. I'm going to highlight what's here, and I'm going to type in my own information. Welcome to CIS 140 Web Development Tools. And you can then personalize your information in any way that you would like. When you're done, what you can do is you can either preview for the page or you can hit save. And once you've saved your page, you'll notice that it's been updated there for you. Now at this point, let's say for example, I want to have a course information page. So I can go over here to new page, and I can call it course information. And then I'm going to click my create button over here. Now notice that I have another page. It immediately takes me into the edit mode where you can then go ahead and put in your content, the same as before. So I'm just going to type in course information again. And maybe I want to link to my syllabus. 
And so I can format this, I can make it a heading, and I, maybe I want to bold this here. But below it I want to link to my syllabus file. So what I can do is I can hit my file button here. And then what I can do is I can actually upload files. So I'm going to hit upload files. And then it's going to take me to my computer navigation where I can go in and I can choose where I want to uh, pick up my syllabus from. And so in this case I'll just go ahead and pick in my syllabus and click OK and it's going to upload the file. So at this point I'll just click on it and you'll now notice that there is a link to that particular document. So I can hit save and at this point I now have a link to my um, syllabus. So my students can actually click on that and download it. Um, also notice over here on the left I now have another page in my navigation. I have home which was the first one we created and course information. And maybe I want to create a third page. This is going to be my student um, test review. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit New Page. I'm going to name this Chapter 1 Test Review. And then hit Create. And now I have my third page. And maybe I'm going to go ahead now and type in, in my instructions. And I want my students um, each student should post a potential test question and answer a question posted by a classmate. And then I want to insert a horizontal line so they can continue working below it. So I can go ahead and format it bold and then hit save. And so now when the students visit this page, they can put their content directly below the line that you see here. Um, at this point, we need to worry about how to get our students into our class wiki. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to the left and click Manage Wiki. And this is going to allow us to invite our students. And all you need to know to do this are their email addresses. So we're going to click Invite People. And then what you're going to do is you're going to type in their email addresses. And each one on a new line. And when you're done, you're going to hit your send button. And what's going to happen is it's going to send your students um, an email telling them how to sign up for your wiki space and become a member of your wiki. And at that point, the students will see the same interface that you do and they'll be able to manage and add course content. Now let's say for example you, your students can actually create new pages if you'd like them to each create one of their own and so this gives you a way where they can work collaboratively on any of the assignments that you have as well as have links to your information that you see here. Now Web 2.0 um, is a growing um, arena you can go on the web and search for Web 2.0 and be overwhelmed with the number of tools that are out there. But a really good resource is GoToWeb2.0.net. And if you type that in your browser, it's going to take you to this website that you see right here. And there are hundreds of tools that you could potentially implement in your um, classes. You'll notice over here on the right that they do um, organize them by topic. So if I'm looking for something, say, for um, I want to blog, I can click on blogging. And then all the tools that you see here are free utilities where you can go out and blog. So I encourage you to spend some time in taking a look at these um, and look at the different things that you maybe can include to make your courses more collaborative and more Web 2.0 friendly.